Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This tutorial is going to show you all about the breaks. Now when you're working on a document and you come down uh, to the bottom of the document once you've typed your text, at the very bottom you'll notice that once it comes to the bottom of the page the text goes over onto the second page. And this wouldn't be good because it's halfway through the paragraph. Um, and it's pushed it all over so it split the paragraph effectively now if I just switch it to draft view just so you can see can you see the little dotted line that's going across here that's a natural page break that the computer has put into the system and it's referred to as a soft page break and they're okay but like I say there is times when you don't want the soft page breaks to take effect I would want this page break to appear from this point here where I'm highlighting here at this point and I'd want all that paragraph on one piece of paper so to achieve that what I would do is I'd place my uh, cursor where I want the break to appear which is just in front of this paragraph really and then I would go up to the page layout tab then you've got the breaks in the page setup group you've got the breaks here and then you just drop that and say page break and what that does, that puts you a page break in, as you can see there. And now that is on the second page. So this now is on the second page of your document. Now just nip back to print, print layout view. And there you go, look, you can see the page break. And the page break is there. That is as easy as it is to put a page break in. If you want to do it by keyboard, all you would do is you would place cursor where you want the break to be you hold control and press the return or enter key and that puts it in so control enter is the quick key for it and that is how you put a page break in to the document to delete a page break you just place your cursor either in front or at the back doesn't matter which way and just use the delete key and get rid of it and then that just re gets Re, um, does your document and gets rid of the page break that you don't want. The other breaks that we've got within uh, Word is we've got what we call a line break. Now a line break is uh, they call it text wrapping and a line break basically is when you want to force the line to end at a certain point now when you're typing in word again you'll type the word across here and it gets to here and it automatically wraps around to the second line that's what is referred to as a soft line break where or text wrap the other one is what you're going to put in is a hard one now to put one of them in you just place your cursor where you want it to be you go again to the page layout tab the page setup group breaks and you just pick there where it says text wrapping now what that does that puts your line breaking and you can see it there if you wanted to do that manually you would just place your cursor where you want it and you do shift enter and that does it also so you can always do it by keyboard or you can do it by uh, the page layout page setup breaks now, a lot of people would say to me at this point, well, why would I want to put a line break in, you know? It might be that you want to put a picture here or a, a logo or something like that, you know. That's mainly when it wants to be done. But that's what you call text wrapping. It's a line break, basically. Then you've got what we refer to as section breaks. Now, the column break I'll show you in a second. But these section breaks are where you want to break your document down into different sections. Now you've got a next next page section break. That is when you want to change the layout of the, the paper or something like that. Just watch this for a second and I'll show you what one is. If I do uh, control N for a new document and it's document one. Now imagine that I've got this document on screen I'm typing away and I get to the very bottom of the document imagine and then I go to page setup and I bring the little dialog box up 
Now I say I want to be landscape. Not I don't want to apply it to the whole document. I just want to go from this point forward. So from this point forward, where the cursor is, from this point forward, I want it on landscape, and I say OK. Notice that that is your page two, and it's landscape. Now imagine again that you've gone through that and and you've gone right through it. We'll bring that back up again and say, well, we want portrait. Now notice this time we've got this section as well, but we'll say from this point forward, I want it back to portrait. So I say OK there. Now notice now, I'll just zoom this down a little bit, just so you can see it. And that will be page 3, portrait. Right, now watch this. What you do now, there's the first page, which is landscape. Uh, portrait, sorry, that's portrait. It comes down, then you've got the landscape page, and then you've got the portrait back to portrait. So it's a fantastic way of sectioning your document in for different layouts. Brilliant. This this page here, you could have a massive big table or a big graphic, but notice here, and you will only you will only see this when you've shown hides on. So if I turn the show and hide off here on the home tab paragraph group show and hide you don't see the show and hide characters now I've put it on because I want you to see them. see that is a next page section break next page section break so it, it does shove everything onto the next page and it is so you could set up a different layout of orientation of papers or margins things like that on a different page but real handy when when you want to break it up into different things. Now a continuous section break is this. Notice how I've highlighted this text. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, I want to drop this into three columns. And again, it's just to show you. Now notice this one has kept it on the same document. Okay. There is the document look it's all on the same document but notice this one is a section break but it's continuous section break so what this one's done in effect what this one's done it's put you the break in as you can see you've got your, your break in but it keeps it on the same piece of paper so you can break your document pages if you like into different sections as well that is really powerful especially when you're playing with columns and things like that it's a it's a big hit yeah so that is what we call a continuous section break and again you can do it manually you could you could literally just go to the page layout you know the page setup and the breaks now the column break is when you want to break the columns now it automatically distributes the text that you've got into three columns but I might want to say well from here I want to put a column break in to push all this text here into the next column but at the moment the computer's taking care of all the breaks but the minute I jump in I'm going to have to take over now watch this if I put my cursor there and I go to break column notice it shoves everything else over into the next column and now I have to deal with it or everything manually so if I say right I'll go from there and we'll put another column break in now this time I'm going to do it by keyboard and it's control shift enter and that does it and notice there I haven't got it even <laughs> so you would just literally play about with it till you get it where you want it that's it number two um, and I think there should do it oh, wrong way um, but it, it's just literally what I'm doing here. I'm just literally uh, been near enough. And then what I could do here, I could actually put a picture in there or whatever I want. But fantastic way of working. But that's a column break because you're putting your own columns in. And, and it just shoves them there. Look, there's one there. Column break. It's showing you there. And that's just so you can force the issues and break your text where you want in columns. The breaks or the section breaks there are even page and odd page 
that's when you've got your document set up in mirror margins and you've got the odd pages and the even pages and all it does is it puts a section break on every even page so it would be two four six eight and then on the other one on the odd pages it would put a section in one three five seven so it's straightforward stuff but they're all section breaks but they are all your breaks that you want to work with in within the documents and there is times when you do need them especially the page break so the page break as you're typing away if you want to do it as you're typing you're typing away and you get to the end it's control enter and that just puts you another page in um, that's it on the breaks thank you very much for your time thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to check my other videos out and go and have a little look at my channel if you subscribe with our channel we do do requests we take requests from you so if you want to know how to do a mail merge or tables or anything like that just nip over to our channel um, subscribe with us drop us an email and we'll do you a video just as soon as we can thank you bye